Basically, what happened was, is we were at a recital. I was, I don't know, maybe eight or nine years old. And it sucked. My dad didn't want to go, but we had to take my cousin and whatever. And then we're right. It's like a long, boring thing. It's, you know, for kids. We're nine, ten years old, maybe. And the, we get to intermission, and the curtain's closing, and the woman who's running the recital, you know, pretty, pretty woman, pretty, you know, girl, whatever, in her 30s. She's like, oh, you know, there'll be refreshments. We'll be back in 20 minutes. And he waits till it's pin drop silence, and he yells out from the back row to this woman, show your bush! Uh, and, like, goes to try to give people high fives, ah, like, like, I did laugh. that. And then they're like, oh, my God! <laughs> sir! <laughs> sir! These are children! Yeah, and then I remember my dad bought me something ridiculous, like four packs of Twizzlers, like something dumb. Go. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. I probably shouldn't have yelled, show your bush to the teacher. <laughs> there you go. Have a bunch of Twizzlers, buddy. Hey! Hey! Yeah, but you know me. And then uh, my dad's the kind of guy, like, he would yell that, it would bomb, and then he'd, like, make believe he was having a stroke just to get out of it. <laughs> he'd be like, I can't move my arm! <laughs> <laughs> I the party room that we rented out, by the way, every other day last week was 70 degrees, beautiful. The day of violence party, 93 degrees. The air conditioner blew out. So the air conditioner blew out, and I was worried that, like, my dad was going to pass out. The, none of that happened. Instead, what happened was is they brought in these industrial fans, these huge industrial fans, and I just watched some of my dad's friends toupees hang on for dear life they were just flapping in the wind hanging on i watched the glue of some guy's toupee it was it was hanging on by a thread and i was just hoping and praying that it flew off and sprung and smacked right into the mirror i want you to guess this historical figure okay one i'm a republican two i had a huge part in bringing puerto rico to the United States. Three, I was the commissioner of the New York City Police Department. Four, my family's wealthy and I grew up in New York. Five, I was sick and I had asthma and my father pushed me to be active and improved his health. Seven, I fought in the Spanish-American War and I, I had a formed a volunteer uh, cavalry regiment, which one day they would name condoms after, a.k.a. the Rough Riders. Nine, I have a toy named after me. 10, Chris Stefano is watching a documentary about my life. 11, <laughs> Robin Williams played me in the movie Night at the Museum. 12, I didn't like Native Americans. 13, I look like a, I look like a fucking asshole with glasses and his stupid mustache. Out of nowhere, Delilah goes, Daddy, can I ask you a question? I was like, yeah. She was like, is podcasting really a career? And I was like, yeah. She's like, how long are you just going to set up mics and do silly talks with Homeless Pimp? <laughs> and I was like, that's literally, I was like, it pays for everything. It pays for the Airbnb we just stayed in. It paid for your mom's boob job. I was like, it pays for all your toys and clothes. And she was like, okay. She's like, but like, you can't do it forever. And then I literally was like, yes, I can. And I hit the gas to like 80 <laughs> miles an hour. And then as time was going on, I was like, I don't think I could do this forever. Like she literally hit me with a solar punch and I was a, a punch to the solar plexus. And I was like, yo, what the hell? It's interesting how a seven-year-old though kind of is already thinking like long-term. She was like, is it a career though? I literally, if I was the WNBA, I would just put LeBron in a wig and just have a, and just have him come out and play one season. Just get him. Didn't Trump actually say that? That he was like, he my, my WNBA team would be the best. He's like, I'd put LeBron in a dress. My whole life is revolved around like, I just want to, I just want to go home. Like I genuinely, every time I get anywhere, I just want to go back home immediately. Yeah, me too. So my entire day yeah. is being like, how can I shorten everything to just go back home? And, and so, and so that's, it's probably depression, but that's literally, <laughs> no, literally I like my comforts. I'm yeah, a creature I just of go comfort. Home. Me always. too. Like, like I'm always thinking about going home. Me too. I came back out and David Blaine was all staying that in that hotel. And he was, go, he was like, she was like lifting weights, like, you know, like doing biceps. And he was behind her doing her, like going over her form what? and like doing magic tricks. And I was just like, oh my God, like this girl, she should fucking. What'd you do? Dave, nothing. I left. It was, was a like, girlfriend. Yeah, but what was I going to do? Fucking compete with David Blaine? Yeah, he magicians are pussies. Yeah, I made. I swear to God, I swear to God, dude, I you made. Think, believe you think because he can fucking levitate and make yeah. a, an ace of nah, an dude, ace of spades disappear, dude? He fucking was crack him in the face. 
all his cards will fall out of his sleeve. Dude, he just expose him. Be like, look, <laughs> he, pussy. you pussy. He was up his sleeve. He 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 was so ripped and jacked. So what I did was, I swear to God, I got so intimidated. I was like, oh, I was like, hey, she's like, oh, David Blaine. I was like, oh, hey, what's up, man? Big fan. I was like, babe, you know, I forgot my headphones for my iPod, and I but I had them in my pocket. I just went up to the room and sat up there for twenty minutes. Oh, like a well, pussy. he was fucking making his dick disappear. <laughs> <in your shirt. laughs> yeah, and I remember being my in kindergarten and taking out. little pins and putting them through the tips of the skin of your fingers. Oh, would you was, do that? That was mm-hmm. I mean, you could kill two, three hours doing dude, that. But why don't we? Why did we stop doing that? I would do it right now. Why not continue Great. to do that? Like, dude, I, I thought instead I was, of I thought overeating, I, was a magician. I felt like fucking David Copperfield. I was like, <laughs> yeah, ah, yeah. Ah, yeah, putting glue on your hands and then peeling it off. Oh, like peeling skin. it off was oh, classic. Yeah. So being gay is is an exhausting weekend. When you have a gay weekend. It's fun, but it's exhausting because there's brunch, there's mimosa, there's kids' activities, you know? There's running around, there's, you're, 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 there's skipping. There's, it's, it gets very gay very quick. Being gay is exhausting. If you want to have a, a good workout, then go to a gay village and you'll work out all day. What's the first stop of a gay weekend? Huh? What's the first stop? First stop of a gay weekend? Well, number one first stop in the gay weekend is you have to go to the little antique stores of New Hope and Lambertville Township, New Jersey. So we went in and out of little antique shops in the New Hope, Lambertville area. Then we took pictures of little bridges that they have there. But then again, I don't know, man. O.J. Simpson's denying being Khloe Kardashian's father. Yeah, right. Bring out Maury. You are the father. Of course you're O.J. Simpson's father. Chloe is. Chloe's O.J. Simpson's father. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> you didn't see that coming. Tupac. <laughs> Tupac. All eyes on me. Um, 